This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. Some secrets are kept in the basement, others in the morgue. Welcome to Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi, featuring defense attorney and host of the podcast, Defense Diaries, Bob Mata. The trial of Alec Murdoch, well, that ended quite a while ago, but will we see a sequel? And sometimes sequels are better, sometimes they're not, and this one is starting to look like it's going to be getting into production pretty quick. Bob Mata, defense attorney, host of the podcast, Defense Diaries, joining me. The uh, South Carolina Supreme Court going to take on Alec Murdoch's appeal. Uh, of course, uh, arguing jury tampering with uh, Becky Hill. Not a huge surprise that another court's taking a listen to this, but it it's going past appellate right away. It's going straight to the Supreme Court. What does that tell you as a defense attorney about how serious they're taking this in South Carolina? It tells me a lot. And I appreciate it because, you know, I mean, in terms of the sanctity of the process, I mean, the jury is hands off. Like In my estimation, the guy should get a new uh, get a new trial. Mm -hmm. I mean, like we have to protect the jury. We have like no one can speak with the jury. I, if we are on trial and Alice and I are going out to lunch and we happen to walk in the same restaurant and we happen to see two jurors in there or a juror, we turn around and walk out of that restaurant. Mm -hmm. If I see a juror in an elevator, I do not get in that elevator. If I see a juror in the bathroom, I wait until that juror leaves. There is to be no communicating with jurors ever mm -hmm. under any circumstances. And when you are the elected, elected clerk of court, not a chance. Yep. Like I, I don't give a shit what she said. I don't give a shit whether or not the, the judge that heard that hearing found that it affected the jury one way or another. You cannot create a slippery slope wherein there are circumstances under which it's okay for people that are involved with the case at any level, whether it be judges, whether it be attorneys, whether it be the clerks, no one can talk with the jury. No one can discuss any of the facts of the case with the jury. It's completely improper. It will create the slipperiest slope because everyone will then point to that case and say, oh, well, you know, they allowed it here. Like the judge found that it didn't have an impact on the jury's ultimate decision. So it's OK. No, it's not OK. Never. So Never. I am all for him getting a new trial and and fear not. It's going to be the exact same result. Mm -hmm. He is going down in flames. Nothing will change with that. So this is a move that Becky Hill is costing the tech, the taxpayers millions of dollars mm -hmm. to have to retry that case. All because of her yeah. and her actions in order to protect the sanctity of the process. Look, man, the Constitution is all we have. It's literally the foundation of our country. It's literally the foundation of the criminal justice system. If we decide to give people passes because of whatever reason, it creates these issues wherein it is going to become law down the road and it's going to create issues where there's no turning back from it yeah. or it becomes exceptionally difficult to turn back from it. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm thrilled that they're looking at it. And as much as I hate the fact that this guy is going to get another trial, he is, or he should. Uh, and I, and I would, I would be shocked if the Supreme court didn't feel the same way, to be honest with you. I agree. I mean, you take Alec Murdoch out of the equation. Let's just say it's, right. it's some, Drug, anybody, anything, it's a stupid drug offense, whatever it may be. Um, if if they are to say, because it will set precedent either way, it will set precedent of either, well, you have a juror here that that says they were tampered with, and we're just going to ignore that and and be fine with it. That's not a good one to set at all. Or we're going to do the right thing and give him a new trial. I don't see how they could not give him a new trial at this point. Right, I, I agree completely for for all the reasons I just stated. Like mm -hmm. it, it would be a massive mistake to yep. allow for that to stand. And, and the fact of the matter is, is that it, it's, it's a huge waste of money because like I said, not only is it going to be the same result in the second trial, like there's no way that he's going, I don't care if he doesn't testify. I don't care what they switch up. Mm -hmm. The guy's going down. And beyond that, I mean, the amount of time that he pled to on the financial crimes, he's never getting out of prison. True. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's literally taking, the taxpayer's money and flushing it down the toilet. And you can thank Becky Hill for that because the Supreme court is going to understand the significance of 
preserving the sanctity of the process. I keep saying that because yeah. that's what matters yeah, here. That's what it's all it's about. About Murdoch, it's about the process, mm-hmm. and that that is verboten. You know, we're not allowed to mess with the jurors at all, ever. Will there be further repercussions against Becky Hill for this if the Supreme Court does rule that Alec Murdoch gets a new trial? I mean, if I am the state of South Carolina, you know, I'm I'm certainly looking into suing her mm-hmm. to get to get restitution. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're literally like depending on what the wording, if the Supreme Court comes down the way that I think that they should, it, it, you know, I mean, if they flamethrow her. And it becomes evident as to what I'm saying, that she's entirely responsible for all of this, Mm -hmm. that no one else is to blame other than her. Yeah. You know, the question is, she's not going to have the money. No. (laughs) You know, it's a first thing they teach you in torts is you don't sue somebody who's broke. Sure. Sure. That's the point. You know, like if if you're big on suing people for the principle of the thing, then, you know, you're you're not going to be able to make much of a living Mm -hmm. because, you know, suing people that don't have money is worthless. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Other than to, to, you know, establish a principle. But it, it's exactly what the Supreme Court is going to have to do here. Mm-hmm. They're going to have to say, look, I, I'm sorry that, that we are wasting the, tax, the taxpayer's money on having to have this thing retried. But we have to. Yep. We just have to. Yeah. All right. True crime addicts. Let's cut the crap. You're knee deep in the gory details of your favorite podcast. When suddenly a commercial hits like a bad meal. Seriously? You deserve better. Upgrade to True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts, where you can binge without those annoying ads. Plus, get extended interviews that go deeper into the darkness and early access to episodes so you can be the first to know. It's like trading up from fast food to fine dining, but with more blood. So, go ahead. Search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and feast on the good stuff.